Yo, what's up guys, it is your friends of Seahawks fan, back with another video. Today is part 6 of my Retro Bowl College Colorado series. Uh, last time we took down Arizona 48-45, to then we had our bye week, and now we are facing California. They are unranked at 1-5, and and they are 0-4 in the conference. We are 3-0 in the conference, 5-0, and and we are ranked 21. Let's do it. All right, just diving into the Pac-12 college game. There's only one at, on Friday, December 1st at 5 p.m. on ABC. We got number five, Oregon, at number three, Washington, the Pac-12 championship. I hate both of these teams so much. I can't stand them. That Apple Cup. Made me so, made me so angry, but as much as I hate the Huskies, I'm gonna take them because I just really wish Oregon could go to hell. They're my least favorite college team of all time. So I hope the Huskies throttle them, even though it might not happen because they haven't been playing the greatest ball in like the past five weeks. I don't know why I stepped out of bounds. Like the last five weeks, they haven't really like convincingly beat a team ball. Oregon knows how to blow teams out. But Huskies did it once, and they're going to do it again. By three points, maybe? I don't know. They're just going to win. I don't know for a fact. <laughs> At least I hope so. All right, now for the NFL. Suspended Broncos safety Kareem Jackson says he's meeting with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell technically yesterday. Uh, good for him, I guess. Maybe stop targeting people and then you won't get suspended. Just a thought. Steelers wide receiver Deontay Johnson owns up for effort on fumbles versus Bengals. He said it won't happen again. There you go. You're playing. You're you're going in the right direction, Deontay. Just keep doing that, man. Own up to your mistakes and look like you're trying on the field against um, Cardinals. I think they're playing. I got no idea. I already forgot who they're playing. All I know is we got a Pat Jokes touchdown. Like, is anyone else surprised? I'm surprised at what I'm about to read. The Jets opened up quarterback Aaron Rodgers' 21-day practice window. Dude, why are you doing, Rodgers? I understand if you want to play, or that you want to play, but if your team isn't competing for anything, why risk your... Your body. Why risk just yourself? You're being stupid, Aaron. Um, but he's doing whatever he wants. Former Eagles receiver and three-time Pro Bowler Deshaun Jackson retires after 15 seasons. Possibly the best deep threat receiver of all time. Um, at least in my opinion. And hopefully others' opinions because it's just the right opinion to have. He is, if not the best deep threat the NFL has ever seen. It's he's just too dang fast, man. But uh, yeah, it was it was time to hang it up. Like not like before 2020, it was time to hang it up. Just injuries, injuries, age. Injuries. I mean, that's what happens when you're, what, 35 years old, still playing receiver, however old he is. All right. Get us a good return path. Good enough. Eagles defensive coordinator Sean Desai says we will have to have a good plan to corral, corral, slippery Brock Purdy. Yes, you will. Please beat him and the whole Niners team. Pretty please. 
Eagles. Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin says TJ Watt is the best defensive player on the field right now. He ain't lying, because he is. I don't care what the Neil Hunter's uh, stats are this year. TJ Watt is a more wrecking ball player than um, Daniel Hunter. Bro, why are we playing so down to a 1 and 5 California team right now? Seattle's head coach Pete Carroll says Geno Smith is night, or his elbow's night and day difference heading into Cowboys Showdown. He could be at 200%. We ain't winning that game. I can tell you for a fact, we ain't winning that game right now. Maybe if, like, somehow our line could block Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence and uh, Deron Bland doesn't have his, what, six pick six of the year. That's possible. And we also have to stop, uh, like, C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Dak Prescott, Tony Pollard, because I guess he's back now. Somehow Rico Dowdo, because every team's backup running back goes off against us. So, we'll see what happens with that. We also got to stop, I guess, Michael Gallup as well. I thought that was a pick for a second. We also got to stop... Um, I think that's about everyone. Got Brandon Cooks, Pollard, Dak... Um, Dowdle, Lamb, Cooks, might have just repeated some of those, but I don't know. We gotta stop a lot of people and it's not gonna happen. Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin expects nothing but Cardinals running back James Conner's absolute best in Pittsburgh return. Oh yeah, that's his first time going back to Pittsburgh. He was like... Good until 2020 in Pittsburgh and then just sucked and then went off against the, or with the Cardinals in his first year. Goal line merchant, but yeah. Okay, while well, he scores a touchdown, I will read that Colts running back Jonathan Taylor is undergoing thumb surgery. Oh my god, dude. And he will miss multiple weeks. Did I really just come a year or a half a yard short of a touchdown? There, that's my version of the tush push. I'm surprised they haven't added that to Madden yet, or maybe they did. I just, I played Madden 24 one time a week, and that's just for YouTube. I'm fizzling out of Madden, because it's just not fun anymore. It's super pay to win. Vikings activate wide receiver Justin Jefferson off of injury reserve. It's actually a good time to do that because um, they're on their bye week. Dude, really? You gotta catch that, buddy. There you go, Haley. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got anything else? Panthers owner David Tepper says they are totally confident in, pick, in the pick of Bryce Young. I'm sure you are. I still would have picked CJ Stroud for... Okay, what's going on, man? I would have still picked Stroud first. But that's just me. I guess it's also Pro Bowl voting. I don't really care about that at all. So I'm not even going to have an input or opinion on any of it. All I will say, though, the one thing I will say is Devin Witherspoon is a Pro Bowler. Only other thing I will mention about the Pro Bowl is just that. And now we are done. Okay, touchdown, and there's uh, there's nothing else. So, let me just turn the old laptop off. Okay, let's just do that because, uh, yeah. 55 to 46. I wish our defense was better. 
But screw the uh, or defense will just outscore you. That That is the meta for this series, I guess. Uh, give me more speed with you, Ty. Alright. We're playing Oregon and they're ranked 6. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how the boys did. The, the three boys. 96% completion percentage. One yard short of 400. Yikes. Nine carries. Okay. Five total touchdowns. That's realistic. Uh, Holland, okay. All right. We are doing extremely good, I'd say, at least. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so I'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!